Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we're going to watch me sculpt. Well, not today, actually. I'm going to make the bases on today's video, but I'm going to learn how to sculpt. I've never done it before. I'm taking some lessons um, from Zoe, and I'll put her information in the link uh, below. Uh, definitely check her out and her classes. Um, but yeah, I've never sculpted before, and uh, we're going to see how good I can get over the years, and we're going to document this process. This is one of many videos over the next coming years, and uh, let's see how I do. Uh, enjoy the video, and we'll make some bases. All right. All right, so I had to break everything down, and since I'm working out of the back of my truck, I had to break everything down. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? And um, I had to go get more screws, because FYI, uh, three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch does not equal one inch and five eighths. I had to get, uh, so I had too long of screws, and I don't know if you can see this, but it was peeking through the base, so I had to go get some shorter screws. So that is what I did. So now we will get back to putting uh, the bases together. All right. Much better. No, no uh, pointy stuff. Uh, so the goal is, is I don't want to have the screws being shown at the top. So I am going to screw them from the bottom. And uh, this screw right here, will be covered by this. So that is what we're doing. Cool, all right. One is done, all right. All right, now on to uh, the painting. All right, uh, what's up guys? Let's see, we are gonna install these on the, on these two things, uh, platforms here. And uh, we're gonna install these pipes cause these are gonna be uh, head or bust uh, uh, sculptures. So let's go ahead and install those. I'm gonna be putting this plumber's tape on the, on these, uh, you don't need to, I just do, I don't, I don't know. That just, I used to do construction. You don't need to, it just, to me it looks neater. It looks neat. So that's the only reason I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, so I got my bolts and we're just gonna go for it. So yeah, so this should be pretty interesting to do. I've never sculpted before. We'll see how it goes. We're gonna, we're gonna test this out and I've always wanted to sculpt since I was a kid. We are gonna see if I can learn from Zoe Defoe, do floor, do du, du, 
F-O-U-R. See if I can learn from the best in the, in the U.S. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I don't think she knows that I call her the best in the U.S. I've never met her before. I mean, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Go check her stuff out. Link in the description below. Um, but yeah, she's really good. I've never met her. She seems pretty nice. A friend of mine, Lucas, used to go to school with her at Grand Central Academy. He hooked us up as far as uh, connecting me with her to get some lessons. And I am going to record my progress. Also follow Lucas. He's a great artist. I'll put a link in the description below to his Instagram. He's a great guy. Lucas B. Bedoni. I don't know how to pronounce his last name either. It's Lucas Bedoni. Bedoni. Anyways, whatever. Link in the description below. So, so we got the uh, got my washers, got the wing nuts. This is what Zoe recommends. Uh, the half inch, uh, I forget what these are, these half inch flange, a half inch pipe. These are quarter inch bolts. And uh, I just got some washers and she recommends wing nuts because when, uh, when you're done with the sculpture, you wanna be able to take it off of the stand. So when the sculpture's done, you unscrew the wing nuts and you take the sculpture and you take the sculpture off. So that is that. And so we got that going on. That looks that looks professional. I think that's as close as professional as I'm gonna look. Yeah, I'm just putting some plumber's tape. You don't have to do this. I'm just whatever. <laughs> it's just the old habit, and I think it, it looks nice. It looks kind of neat. Also, these are kind of greasy. So I probably, if I were you, I would recommend washing them. Uh I think that's just the way they are and so I'm definitely going to uh, I'm definitely gonna wash these bad boys in uh, some soap and water just to get that grease off so I don't have to deal with it get that in the shot so you can see this totally unnecessary step I just like the way it looks so we'll do that screw it on all right, screwed on. There we go. That's one. See, like that's how dirty they are. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna wash them. These stands are gonna be reused and um, I just put the paint on here so it doesn't soak up the moisture. <laughs> Excuse me, the moisture from the clay. All right. All right, so we're good. Put some plumber's tape on it because again, there's no, <laughs> there's no need for it. I'm just being dumb or having fun I should say having fun making it look neat okay all right two bases and now we're gonna go upstairs and I'm going to make the uh, the head part of this armature and we'll get that done I'm gonna clean up all this mess and wrap it up all right all right, so we uh, moved inside and uh, it's kind of a tight fit in here. So we're kind of tied in on the, uh, the armature. And what we're gonna do is I've already cut the, the armature wire that I need. Um, so this is a one quarter inch, I think. Yeah, it's one quarter inch armature wire. And I have this styrofoam ball to take up some volume in the middle because you don't want to pack everything in because the clay will make it heavy. So basically this is a 10 inch pipe right here. So basically we'll take the the armature wire that I've already pre-shaped, put it in here, um, and then put the, the egg in here. Or you can use newspaper. I have a little aluminum foil here as well because I'm going to use it to take up, take up some more space. And then, so on this one, you want to have a, uh, a side that's a little bit longer because it's going to go on the outside. And we're back. I had to get these uh, steel clamps here, these belt clamps. So, because uh, it's going to go around the base of the pipe here. So what you want to do is put the, that on first. And then you want to, when you shape the armature wire, Put that bad boy in there and then the reason you have a little bit left over on that put one side in and this is just going to be a bust or a head sculpture that i'm going to be working on um, so we jam that bad boy in there bring this up just a little bit so you have some room to uh, move move the armature around 
uh, you know, if it's a different type of pose, if the head is leaning a certain way. And then I'm going to bring this guy up. There we go. I'm going to bring that guy up. And uh, I, forgot a, I forgot a screwdriver, so I am just going to use my Leatherman here. I definitely would recommend getting one of these. Get the and just tighten this bad boy up. All right, we are good to go there. Put this away. As you can see, the egg is still kind of loose in there. Well, it's a yeah, this egg, styrofoam egg. You don't necessarily have to buy this. You can get newspaper or whatever. I just got it. Keep it wrapped in the uh, styrofoam because the the clay, if it hits the styrofoam, it will ruin the clay on the inside and you want to try to re, uh, reuse the clay. Um, as soon as this plastic stuff tears off, I'll probably put it in a Ziploc bag. Um, so there's still space in there. The next step that we'll do... Oh, and earlier I also mentioned in the last video that there's a lot of grease on here. You can... Soap and water will clean the grease off. I had done this, so I, I just had some uh, citrus heavy-duty grease remover and I sprayed it on a napkin and wiped it down and all that grease is gone. So, um, the next step is we're going to take this wire and we're going to wrap it around uh, so that the clay has something to get teeth on. Um, and then so we'll, we'll I'll bring you back once that's done. How are we going to do this? I guess you... You guys are learning along with me on how to do this. Definitely want to tie this top part up so it doesn't move all around. So you want to get it at that axis point. And uh, maybe, actually, you know what, we can put that in later. So we'll do that. So yeah, maybe put the egg in uh, next, not right away. You can s jam it in there. So just cut off pieces of armature wire. And this smaller wire is, uh, I believe it's a sixteenth of an inch. And um, this will allow the clay to actually stick to the larger armature wire, which is about a quarter inch. Um, you definitely want some snippers um, to cut this. You can cut this qu quarter of inch with these type of uh, nippers, but it's really hard. I would definitely get uh, something larger, like uh, at Home Depot or Lowe's. In Zoe's... DVD, she says to get bolt cutters for the for the quarter inch. You don't necessarily need that unless uh, you're not able to um, cut through it. Um, if you don't have the quote unquote, sorry, the strength or the 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 grip, the grip uh, strength to to use this, it's definitely hard with these. But they have they have bigger ones or. Uh, you can get like electrical um, uh, electrical wire cutters. They're pretty big. Uh, you just need something with leverage. So the bolt cutters definitely give a lot of leverage. Uh, I would definitely just get bigger ones of these. And it just provides the leverage if you don't have that grip strength. I'm really enjoying this. So it'll be exciting to take you guys on this journey with me of learning to sculpt. Uh, we'll be publishing a bunch of videos. I don't know if it's going to be weekly or monthly, but... You're definitely going to watch me sculpt and we're going to learn together and see the progress and uh, definitely this is just going to be as unedited as unedited as possible just so you guys see the the progress the frustration the joy um, the whole learning experience uh, the ends are a little pokey after you um, cut every cut into it so you definitely want um, to have that stuff facing in so you're not jabbing yourself um, also, the, the, the quarter inch, it's definitely a little sharper when you cut it, and it's hard to, to move it around. <laughs> I forgot to grab a hammer, so I was using this huge pipe wrench, a uh, monkey wrench. So uh, definitely have a hammer on hand as well to kind of to shape the ends of the, uh, to shape the ends of the quarter inch, because where you make that cut, there can be like little jagged spots and it's hard to like grip it and move it and it'll dig into your hands. So, you know, sometimes it just grab yourself a hammer, like a 16 or 20 ounce hammer and um, get one of those as well. I'll put links in the description below of everything I've used. Um, but yeah, just, just grab a hammer and, and shape it to how you want. I mean, this is, 
it's aluminum and it's going to be a little messy so uh, just bang it into shape yeah see i got a little pokey part right here so i'm gonna where did it go so i'm gonna bang that in so a pokey part here so yeah get a hammer not a monkey wrench now the next step is where did the egg go the egg is down here I'm gonna jam that egg in there so much easier look at that yeah so we're good and so now that the, now that it's in we have a little length right here we can you know move this around if it's a different type if the head is leaning i have no idea i haven't even met with zoe yet so i have no idea what my uh dealio is gonna be let's bring that bad boy in just a little bit uh, let's see so what we want to do is i'm going to wrap it around so there's stuff to grab here all right and i think we have enough great we made it now we have a lot of different space and so i don't really i'll just put like a little bit of aluminum foil i'm not going to put a lot so here's the finished product um got my aluminum in there i'm good to go uh, hopefully this uh, video is going to inspire somebody out there to, to pick something up. I'm going to be learning this as I go. This is my first sculpture ever. Um, if this video uh, is something you like, definitely hit that like button down below. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. Uh, all the materials I use will be in links below. Definitely use that to help support the channel because that will bring more projects like this. That allows me to get different products to to, to review or to try stuff out. And also definitely watch the series because in July a special, a special sculpture is gonna be coming out that I've never done before. It's gonna be a first time and it's gonna be kind of fun. Uh, I'll just give you a hint. It's gonna be a full figure sculpture. Uh, I don't know how big it's gonna be, but uh, I'll just let you know that it's gonna be fun and uh, definitely pay attention. Uh, look forward to that. Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a great uh, rest of 2020. Have a great 2021. Look forward to growing with you guys, and we'll see you next time. Uh, give, the, give the video a thumbs up. Talk to you guys later. Bye. I hope this is a good... I hope she likes this, and I impress her with my awesome art ability. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. I'm going to get... I want that Marg. Oh, I want that Marg.